Hey guys, just a quick review slash overview of the FTX Buzzsaw. Got a little bit of driving from Ollie, got the review from me, and we've got a little montage at the end. So, I hope you guys enjoy. Right, so first of all, um, I will show you what you get in the box, and then we will go through each bit individually and let you guys know what I think. So, first of all, you get the actual tank itself, which we will get into in a second, but this thing, wow, this is awesome. And then you get a 1500 milliamp lithium ion battery. It comes with its own USB charger. It's not the best, but it will work. I would suggest getting a balanced charger. Not that you need them as a match for lithium ion batteries, but it is good to know that you're getting the most charge out of your batteries. And then a very basic 2.4 gigahertz pistol grip transmitter. So we'll start off by looking at the transmitter. So it is a very basic transmitter very light. It runs off three AA batteries which you're going to have to supply yourself. As I said previously it's very light. Not much weight to it but if you're planning on getting this for your kids the same way I did for Ollie then lightness is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it is literally just two channels though, you've got your on off switch there, an LED to indicate whether it's on or off, your steering and your throttle in reverse. Um, nothing special, but at the same time it could be a lot lot worse. Um, only real complaint I had was that the stickers were peeling off when I got it, but that really does not affect performance in any way, but if you are one of those people that's OCD about how your stuff looks, wouldn't stop me buying it anyway. And then you've got your 1500, oh no, this is 1200 milliamp. I was wrong. 1200 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. It looks like it's just two 18650s stuck together. Um, as I said, the charger that comes with it is just a cheap wall, uh, not even a wall plug actually, it's a USB plug charge it. It will get it charged, but again, I would suggest using a balanced charger or buying a balanced charger if you don't have one. So now let's go and look at this tank. So here is the mean machine. Now this is, as I said, and as you can see in the title, uh, this is the FTX branded version. So it's called the FTX Buzzsaw. Um, on the website that I got it from, it was £62. Uh, you had a choice of camo, white or black and obviously I went for the camo had to go for that old uh, military look but um, oh this thing is awesome the plastic on it is absolutely solid so you don't have to worry about it breaking or cracking if you roll it over or something the shreds on this are really grippy rubber it could be a bit grippy but at the same time you don't want it being too soft and wearing out too quickly this is not going to wear out anytime soon You've got um, your going doors up here. There's actually quite a sunny scale interior in there. You've got a steering wheel on that side, seats. You've got a little screen on the other side for your co pilot. You could easily fit some Lego guys in there, possibly a little bit bigger. But yeah, Ollie's trying to decide which little guys that he wants to go in there. Um, you also have this LED light bar at the top. I know that the newer versions also come with lights in the front bumper. This one unfortunately doesn't, but still, it looks great at night. You're going to see in this little montage I made in a minute. It looks amazing. Now, the battery actually goes into this tray at the bottom here. And it has a little screw that goes in there to stop it from opening. As this is quite new, this tray is really, really, really stiff to open. You don't really need the screw, but it's nice to see that they have added that screw there if you need it in case these tabs come loose. Now it comes with a mini Tamiya, I think. It's either a Tamiya or a mini Tamiya. I'll check to let you know. I will be swapping this over to Dean so I can use my other batteries. But the battery fits into the tray here. 
and then you would hook it up obviously but you can see there's plenty of room here so what I'm planning on doing is cutting this lip out and that way you'll be able to add bigger batteries get some more capacity now just as an example this is actually a stock battery from a uh, stock wipo battery from an ft009 remote control boat this as you can see actually fits absolutely perfect in there it is a lipo 1500 milliamp this can handle lipos but there is no low voltage cutoff. So if you are going to use lipos in it, I would highly suggest using a lipo alarm, voltage alarm, whatever you want to call it. Right, as you can see, people seem to think that this has suspension, but as you can see when you push down, there's almost no suspension to it. All this spring work is essentially to keep the tracks making contact with the ground, doesn't matter what you're driving over. So it doesn't really have suspension per se. As you can see when I'm lifting this up, it's just so that the tracks can stay tensioned as they're contacting the ground. It's not actual suspension, so I wouldn't try and take it over any big jumps, but it, it, it's a strong little machine. It drives over anything, um, it rarely flips over unless you're trying to go over something super steep that it has no chance of getting over, but just driving casually. Ollie absolutely loves it. It's great for us to go on our little trail walks. It doesn't get stuck on twigs. You can just drive it. It's got a decent walking speed to it. And he absolutely loves it. Now, I'm going to cut to a quick video of Ollie driving the tank. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to turn the tank on and connect it with the controller and how it controls. And then I will leave you with a montage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, not a very in-depth review, but just a quick overlook and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it'll be harder on grass, won't it? Looks like it's doing well on that gravel though. Yeah. 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 Sometimes if you go in too fast or if you turn too fast on grass or if you just turn too quickly. Yeah. That's why you practice though, isn't it? Wow. What do you think of it so far? It's amazing. Yeah. That's good. This is exactly what it's perfect for when we go out for our little walks. You can just drive it along the paths and not have to worry about it getting stuck or where we're going or anything. Like he had an A959B and that was great when we we're on concrete and stuff, but when we go on our walks down these paths and stuff, it just got stuck on every little twig. This cheapest chips just keeps going through anything and it's strong oh look there's a ramp there why don't you drive it over the ramp look over here oh, oh, wow. that was awesome
you for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe now.